सुपर एडोबी सो लेट्स जस्ट फाइंड आउट वॉट इज इज सुपर एडोबी सुपर एडोबी इज अ फॉर्म ऑफ अर्थ बैग कंस्ट्रक्शन टेक्निक दैट वॉज डिवलप्ड बाई इरानियन आर्किटेक्ट नादिर खली The technique used layered long fabric tubes or bags filled with adobe to form a compression structure. And Nadir Khalili developed 15 super adobes in Iran. Since then this structure gained popularity and then many countries including India accepted this construction. Have you must know that this structure were used by military for preparing bunkers but later it was modified and now houses can be made out of this it has received growing interest for the past two decades in the natural building and sustainability movement a 400 house a square foot house with bedroom bathroom kitchen and entry can be put up in about 4 weeks by one skilled and four unskilled people So here's an example of India. S. Sanmukta, an architect interested in sustainable architecture, did not want an ordinary home. When she set out to build one for herself in Tamil Nadu, she decided to do so using a back technique. So this is Nader Khalili, and the construction, as you can see in the left side, is what I was talking about. This is super adobe. So let's find out how to construct super adobe. Super adobe's earth back technique lends itself to a wide range of materials. Polypropylene cube is ideal. Likewise, while sand, cement, or lime are preferred, virtually any filling material, gravel, crushed volcanic rock, or rice hulls will work. After materials are gathered and the dimensions of the building are decided upon, a circular foundation trench is dug. approximately 1 foot deep and 8 to 14 feet in diameter giving room for at least two layers of earth bag to be laid underground so this is way this is the way of uh, making foundation in this diagram you can see uh, the images image shows the polypropylene tube used and even the bag is shown now the bag full of earth out of which 30% is binding material which is 20% clay and 10% binding stabilizer and 70% sandy soil 35% gravel and 35% sand are placed one over the other forming curved shape igloo domes and arch type giving lateral stability to the structure and these images are sand and clay so here's a note we we should discard stones 5 cm diameter or more from the gravel because they cannot they can break the sack when compacting once the cobble dome is complete it can be covered in several different kind of exterior treatment both for aesthetic reasons and to protect the structure from environmental damage such as that from ultraviolet radiations example plastering cementing lime concrete etc so here for finishing we use all these things okay here is in this example as you can see a plan is shown in which first is entrance then a circular living room and few semi circular type rooms which are bathroom kitchen bedroom and on the right side you can see section wise if you cut the structure from center it will look somewhat like this and let's find out what are the equipment which are necessary for building a super adobe or super adobe the equipment that will be necessary for building a super adobe dome includes cloths for walking caps and glasses reinforced boots work gloves impermeable gloves a knife and a thick marker besides these basic personal equipment little more is needed pointed tip shovels spades pickaxes wheel barrows and a concrete mixer with a suitable power supply if possible also for the plaster trowels can work but hooks are ideal finally rammers or stampers which are used to strike fill the polypropylene sack in order to compact the mixture inside of them then and when it is complete it look like this as you can see in the image it's very beautiful 
advantages cheap construction as the in- uh, reinforcement and the other cost which are generally paid for the construction of our houses all these costs are cut so it's a very cheap construction natural building method as there is no need to use brick stones and anything like that so this is a natural building method no experienced workers are required here can withstand flood wind snow loads and fire we must know that polypropylene is used but it in very less amount and if it catches fire the tube may burn but the soil will never catch fire it's properly if it is properly um, plastered it becomes insect resistant walls are thick and protect from uv rays could meet the standards of 1991 uniform building code ubc it will last for 30 or more years so these are the advantages and now in this example as you can see the walls are are so thick so it will protect from the people uh, the people inside from sunlight and the uh, uv rays so this house is a used for those areas uh, where the temperature difference between day and night is large how to increase the strength of super adobe barbed wire barbed wire can be used as reinforcement as you can see in the image that barbed wire if it is placed one over the other these things will work somewhat as reinforcement cement as plastering material if cement as plastering material is used it will protect from insects now in this image you can clearly see the barbed wire the black black star type of portion is barbed wire and here as you can see the door opening is formed by placing a removable material in the place of door and then putting bags one by one over it and later this removable material is removed and the doors are placed use in india as we already know that every year our country faces floods and tsunamis so this type of construction is best for those areas as the construction is cheap and the material is easily available even this houses can be made by the owner and family member itself kacha house made in india are somewhat similar to this type of construction except for the unique shape and extra little stability provided by the arch or dome shaped walls and even the insect resistant property and even the things which we place are placed in the polypropylene tube and then we have to we'll use this thing and that will also provide some kind of strength so this is the difference and so the image you can see you can compare aesthetically how th- these two things uh, look and even the strength of super adobe is more than kacha house there has a special point in 1984 in response to nasa call for housing design for further future human settling on the moon and on mars Nadir Khalili proposed to use moon dust to fill the plastic super adobes and velcro together he came to term this particular technique of earth back construction as super adobe so moon dust can be used as filling material for making house at moon and so conclusion although this kind of houses are easy to construct and have lot of advantages but these houses cannot be mass produced as the area or space inside the house cannot be properly utilized these structures are not that strong as compared to rcc structures these structures are best suitable for disaster prone areas so thank you